Well, that's very interesting, you know, and, uh, and you know, that was a very interesting subject to write about because suddenly you saw that uh, there was actually no difference between the political parties. They were all centre-right, you know, and they were all, you know, the kind of greed of the politicians and, and, and the way they... Well, it was the same story. It was the same, exactly the same policies, you know, put forward in a different way, and it still is. You know, there's an elite. They're manipulating the system so that they keep what they've got and as long as the status quo remains the same, uh, then they keep what you know, they keep our share of, of, of the cake, basically. And uh, and statistically, we know that under Labour, the gap between rich and poor got bigger. How does that happen? What is that about? Our so the so-called Workers' Party can't even manage to tip that balance, you know, so you, it's clear, it's the whole political system is a crop, you know, you're being given a choice between three bad things, you know, yes. and you know, it's undermining democracy. That's my thoughts on it. They never invited me. I'd have a couple of words to say about that. You know, you know what? It's just pathetic. It's pathetic. You know, to think that uh, Tony Blair inviting Noel Gallagher into Number Ten makes him cool. It's pathetic to think that David Cameron claims. Oh, who does he? He claims something like. Uh, Eaton Rafferty's favourite song. Which one? Eaton Rafferty's favourite song. Did he say that? Labels are dead, corporates are dead, you know, I mean, they would it's, it's not even an issue because they wouldn't, I mean, taking myself as an example, which is the only example I know, they would never ask me, they never, you know, they corporate music business had nothing to do with me for 30 years, you know, and I can quite understand why, because uh, their values are not my values, you know, and uh, we have nothing to do with each other, we, and uh, so, you know, if tomorrow, uh, whatever the biggest record company in the world is, I've no idea what they're even called anymore, uh, came to me and said, we're going to you know, put out your record for make hundreds of thousands of copies. I would say, yes, please, I'll have some of that. Let's get the, the, my message out there. But we know that's not going to happen. The whole, you know, the whole paradigm between what they're doing and what I'm doing is totally different. It will never happen. It's a fake question because we know that won't happen. But if they did, I'd say, yes, please. You know, oh, my message is better than your message. I'll take, I'll ride on the back of you. Yeah. 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 